Yeah, good afternoon guys. Joe here with the Black Rock Central Railroad again. I say again because this is like the third video in as many days. But this one here, we're not going to watch anything run around today. This is a mail call video from Caboose Stop Hobbies. This was kind of an interesting box. Keith had called me last week and wanted to know if I wanted to go ahead and ship the box that the uh, amount had grown considerably uh, in monetary terms. That this package was up to 300 and some dollars. And I said, ain't no way in hell that I've spent that much money. Not since the last box that I got from them anyway. So we started to go through the box and found out that several of the items that were in this box now did not belong to me. Number one was uh, some sort of an engine from MTH, which, no, 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 I haven't bought anything at all from MTH. I don't particularly care for MTH, so I knew that was definitely not mine. So we decided we'd go through it and see what all was actually in it before I paid for anything. Hang tight a minute, let me go get a trash can for all these damn peanuts. Okay. So by the time we went through the box and got it down to uh, where I thought it was right, <laughs> we were well under my $200 threshold, which was about the average that I go through anyway. Sometimes it's a little more, but most of the time it's under $200. I don't like spending more than that anyway. So, he did tell me that a couple of the uh, freight cars that were in here, they found somewhere in an old drawer or something else that I actually bought last year and never got shipped. So, we're going to see what all is in this box here. Let's see if we can create a little bit of room here. And go from there. And I believe, yes, these are the the two freight cars that were uh, from a year ago or sometime last year I should say I don't know exactly when Keith didn't know exactly when but uh, it was important to realize that uh, sometimes mistakes can be made with the amount of people that deal with caboose stop hobbies especially on the shows on Wednesday night it's easy to see why some things might get misplaced or you might be uh, receiving something that, hey, you didn't think you ordered. So we do need to change some couplers here. Uh, ADM hopper and a Cargill salt hopper, which yeah, hook and horn couplers, yeah, we know they got to be changed out. But that's no big deal. And we have another background building here that I ordered. But I'm not sure where that's going over here. We may expand the... Uh, uh, American Nut Bolton Hardware Company. But we'll find out after we get that one built. <laughs> okay, what else do we have in here? We have some foam. That's always nice. Yeah, I picked this up for the heck of it. That's a, uh, Highway Miniatures 
old uh, Mack fire truck, ladder truck. May go with the firehouse just as a, uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, antique engine that they can run in parades. And a pack of nickel silver rail joiners. I always need them. Ah, an ancient uh, boxcar here, or uh, possibly kit. Let's see what's in this box. Okay, yeah, we have a kit for a uh, Ford delivery truck. I like guess I uh, can't. I can't even read what it says on there. But we may change the uh, decals on that anyway. But I always need vehicles. What else? Do we got? And this box is pretty well packed up. And West Shoreline. Okay, I believe. Yeah. I have two of these in here, and I believe these are resin kits, if I'm not mistaken. I've never built a resin freight car kit, but I believe that's what this is. Yes. I have two of these in this box. They are uh, B&O wagon top box cars. So we'll have to find out just how to go about building resin kits. A new experience. Never be afraid to try something different. And yeah, there's the other one. Yeah, that's the same kit. Sounds like a kit. Yeah, 50 foot tank car kit. Like this, yeah, Southern Pacific. Way out of my range, but uh, it'll look good at the refinery anyway. And of course, my receipt. And another car of some strange origin. Uh, undecorated 40 foot box car. We'll get that one done up. That'll be a Black Rock Central box car. And we picked up a Chessy caboose. Only because this chassis, I certainly don't need any more cabooses, but hey, it's a chassis caboose. So we gotta have it. And a 50 foot undecorated boxcar. Correct? Yeah. Another Black Rock Central boxcar. Another Southern Pacific tanker. So, the West Coast will be uh, represented. Which, that's okay. Yeah, this says open carefully. Okay. What to do with the knife here? Cut the uh, tape. See what's in here and why it has to be opened carefully. 
actually quite heavy. I'm not sure what is in this particular old blue box box. Ah, because there's all sorts of pieces for this too. Okay, that's why there's several several items in this particular box. Got a Wilson Car Lines reefer, ice bunker reefer, and an old Kenworth tractor that needs to be painted up. with its exhaust stacks. That's why that had to be opened up carefully. There's something else to play with. Back in the box, and I think there's one more box in here. No, more than one. All right, uh, another vehicle kit. This is a uh, international moving van, furniture van. It has to be put together. Another vehicle. And the last box here. Let's see what we have in here. Ah, Chesapeake and Ohio caboose. Why not? See if we can get a decent look at that. Got to get some glass to put in those windows. But that's okay. Not a bad haul this time. More peanuts for Sparky. I have a bag of these started for him over there in the corner. So we'll just add more to it. Now hang tight and let me grab this camera here. And uh, we're going to do just a... A quickie, shaky cam of some of the new stickers that I've gotten from people. So hang tight a second. Don't know which ones you've already seen, but these are some of the newer ones that I've gotten. One from Curly Express. One from Schuylkill River Valley. From John Number 2. Stormy Sky Rail Productions. And then from Pappy, we got two stickers. One from his uh, Potluck Channel, and one from Trigoglin Railroad Channel. So I thank you guys. Uh, I think most of you who have asked for one have gotten my sticker already. If you want one and you haven't gotten one yet, hey, send me an email. It's on my About page, and I will get one out to you. So for now, guys, that'll take care of it. And uh, hopefully you won't see me again anytime soon. But for now, this is Joe from the Black Rock Central Railroad. Y'all have a great one. Bye for now.